The NFL is coming to Netflix Office. from gridiron gladiators to in-ring gladiators. Total punches through two rounds. Jake Paul, 12 of 53, 23. Oh, Tyson He's coming out him. aggressively. Tyson, 7 of 34, 18%. So Tyson is averaging more punches than he did in that fight with McBride and in the exhibition against Roy Jones, where he averaged 24 punches around. I got satellites better to keep messing with that mouthpiece. They not look good at all. His age is showing. Yep, he's about out of luck. Final minute. Mike Tyson said this fight reawakened the beast inside. It, it gave him something to look forward to. He's in a much better place mentally. He's in a great place with his family. And yet Mike Tyson said, no, I want a challenge. I want to see what I'm capable of doing. But man, oh, man. 27-year-old chronological physical peak training regularly and Mike Tyson in trouble here with round three. He's in big trouble. Big this trouble. might be his last round. And Jake Prepare Paul fatigue. Yeah, Jake Paul, that extra weight that everybody said was gonna slow him down. Not slowing him down. Not Against McBride 20 years ago, Tyson Wait, a slugger's 233. He just got rocked again with that left hook and resorts to biting his left glove. He needs to bite down on his gum shield and try to produce nostalgia. More nostalgia than Grandma's basement with a punch, but things are looking good for the legend. The problem is mouthpiece. I, 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 I have to tell you, Roy, I've seen it in a lot of fights with Tyson. I don't think that's the case. Power punches in the third round. Paul, one of 11. 11 of 22, 50 percent. Tyson, 4 of 11, 36 percent. And unofficial score, Sean Wheelock gave Paul the, his first round. Right hand. As he was at 54, his legs don't look nearly as good as they did when I fought him. So his legs look like they've gone down a lot. See that right there? He didn't do that against me. I didn't see much of that. So he needs to be able to attack more, but his legs won't get into the job. We can't get there. And Jake, it's a felony. Yeah. Felony. Him. Sorry, and Jake looks very, very com and confident. And relaxed. And relaxed yeah. because he knows Mike's legs are failing him. And, and even, keep biting that mouthpiece again. Even in the last fight where Paul faced Mike Perry when Tyson had health issues, we did see Perry, or excuse me, Paul take deep breaths, but looking again, we talked about fight management earlier with the, the energy, the pressure. Uh, I mean, the main eventing. The first boxing event on Netflix against a living legend and Jake Paul settling into a rhythm here in round four. Small body shot by Jake Paul, too. Left hook lands for Paul. And watching training camp footage of Tyson, you could see at times, even when he threw punches, Roy, that he would put himself off balance. The, the balance has been an issue. Yes, it has, but I fought him in 2020. I've never seen him do his mouthpiece like he's doing it tonight. We are already beginning the second half of this eight-round heavyweight attraction. A, my, a rule tweak instead of three-minute rounds. They are fighting two-minute rounds. And Jake Paul's trainer... Theo Chambers hails from Detroit's legendary quant gym where he was a pupil of the estimable Emmanuel Stewart whose mantra was knockout sell and both of them are promising KOs here tonight. And Jake's actually boxing beautiful here. Though Mike is older and Mike has more rhythm, Jake's boxing very beautiful. Nice one two catches Tyson. Yeah, Jake is looking at that chin. Yep, he's trying to get Mike. See how he's still getting that mouthpiece? I just don't understand that. And I, I don't want to debate or get into an argument with your Hall of Famer, but like I say, it has, it has been a tick of his in fights past. And I don't know what it is. And maybe, maybe his son Amir, who's been a great uh, asset to us tonight, can find out sometime, but in terms of Jake Paul, you're right, Roy. He's he's turning into a boxer. Yeah, oh, good oh. shot. By Mike. Again, the left hook. Good shot by Mike. And 
Paul's hands are low. Thirty seconds left in the fifth. Paul was averaging 35 punches around coming in. We talked about Tyson, of course. Uh, you can't really talk about any stats because it's been 20 years. Ten seconds left in the fifth. Body shot by Paul. Right hand lands for Paul. Good right hand by Paul, but oh. Martin takes a good shot. Very bad. And of course, a strong neck helps you absorb punches. If I meant Mike's punch, hit Jake oh. on the neck. Yeah, yeah. And Jake, of course, working his neck as uh, well. I mean, all fighters do neck exercises to absorb the blows. But for Jake Paul, it's dictating the terms and everything being equal. You don't want to overhype, undersell. Again, he's facing a 58-year-old man, and we're just trying to, to tell the story of the fight, Rosie. Huh, but it's a hard story to, to yeah, watch. Yeah, I, I, think, I, think, I think we're going to see all we're going to see from Mike as far as dangerous shots. <laughs> if Jake's smart, he'll just fight him from the outside now and keep beating like that and have it his way. All right, let's go uh, check in with Ariel.